Okay. Um, just because it has been like nine months that I've been sitting at the house dealing with this kind of shit by myself kind of thing. Um, we, I just walked the dog. Um, and I'm currently setting up right now where you can actually see what I type uh, over my little gifts that I d have down there just for shits and giggles. Um, got affidavits. Hang on. It is. Um, I've been pretty rude lately to some of the uh, courts and stuff. I recently filed a motion for name change to ask them to actually tell me to call them a kangaroo court or a Aegean stables or country backwood pumpkin, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you can find it down in uh, Cleveland County, Johnson County Court at Law 1, uh, case D20120001. That stuff is with my ex-wife and everything, and that kind of definitely is a emotional and mental tilter since I can't even, like, fight for my daughter or anything at this point because to even try would be um, pointless. Like, I don't have a car. I can't uh, qualify for unemployment. I can't uh, qualify for any at-home work right now because I don't have internet, and there's literally nothing I can do, and you have to call and yell and scream at them, and they just basically do the same thing um, back and feed you some bullshit and the fact is that's what it is um, because there's definitely plenty of stuff to show that I cannot afford any other way of service and that they are well aware of it and all that kind of stuff. Um, Um, I actually don't know how to set this in a different order. There we go. Um, but uh, there was a, time, a little while that uh, people were messing with me around this neighborhood or whatever. Um, mobbing, don't know if you've heard of it. I've had mail go missing, all sorts of stuff. It's not great. And eventually it kind of starts setting in when you haven't even been able to do anything like go visit your girlfriend or have a friend come over and hang out when other people are like, oh, I'm at my job. Oh, I'm partying anyways or whatever. And you're stupid enough to think that the other person actually is social distancing and they're really just ghosting you in a shitty way while they meet other people. Um, so there you go. Anybody that looks at that, that's basically that story. But I'm going to type this up while I just ramble on. Um, so that I don't end up with any kind of weird, crazy talking to myself more than I already have. Um, don't have much here. Uh, comes now, Joshua Knight, plaintiff, above style case, blah, 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 date service into the record, defendants made efforts through uh, 1061, the main one. They've been served through the e file system. And all this is test to attach affidavit to show facts. Uh, show facts and support. Of. Uh, because 1062B does require you to serve and uh, swear under penalty of perjury with the motion. Uh, the orders, I guess this is what he wants. There's no requirement I've ever seen where it says it must have attached orders, but we now have attached orders. Um, I went ahead and let him decide when the uh, orders will be considered completed to serve because he just sounds like the kind of big dick face that's going to be like, well, I didn't sign the orders yet, so it doesn't count. Um, but the fact is that. They have known way too long. Uh, they're just avoiding it. Uh, Euless B&B record service up there off of um, Euless Boulevard. Uh, all I needed was a payment plan and to ask her to review the bill and everything because there was a day wrong and it was calculated in. And even she says it's a different day. So there's no way that was the day. So reduce that off. Uh, let me see if you've got the actual second notice that you claim to have. And from there, we can actually decide, you know, what to do. Um, sadly, this doesn't let me just select Libra Office as my thing. I closed that window, it's gone, so I'm gonna have to actually add another one. <laughs> um, I wish you just had my current window or something. Um, actually, that's probably, I know. Um, 
We'll do it exactly like that. Uh, I think I got double audio on right now. Test, test, test. Yeah, okay, it says it's got a mic capture and audio. Um, got my Bluetooth headset down there. So pretty sure that's what that issue was. Um, let's add a just general window capture. Or uh, blah, 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 blah. display capture. No catch my Libra office. Nobody's gonna sit here and look at it and everything, I'm sure, but uh, just in case. Plus, I can talk about how upset I am because it's not like I can get any shit done. Uh, because it's always this kind of bullshit with the courts right now with me. Um, what came on top? There we go. And this is way too big for my little black window. Why it gives me such a big thing, I don't know. Mac has like the stupidest screen resolution. Nothing fits in it right. Um, and Okay. And y'all can watch me work, I guess. Um, handshaker, I hate that thing. Pops up way too much. All right, so this is gonna be affidavit. Uh, a fact supporting the order. Affidavit of uh, set. I'm making an argument that I have met the requirements and I'm going to go ahead and just real fast turn off my display capture that I just created Bloop. Um, because I am going to log into my Chase account. Uh, go ahead and steal it. Why not? It wouldn't matter. Um, I'm going to have to abandon it because there's no way I'm doing any kind of other stuff. There, I'm not going to be able to get any deposits or anything unless I suddenly win the lottery. I will have to move to another bank. It's in one of those situations where you're just too negative. Um, already, my tax return came in, and it's like, yes, deposit, nothing. Um, last night, my roommate that had um, done a bunch of shitty stuff and everything, he actually left his phone here, abandoned it and everything, and he was telling everybody I hacked his phone because I sued him and he's all upset uh, for the back owed rent. And I finally just was like, okay, well you left it here, it's mine, and I know the password because you gave it to me, and pulled it up, and there's 600 bucks that he's been saying that somebody stole his stimulus check, it's in his PayPal. Um, I would have loved to take, took, but I took it, I definitely needed it, but I did not. Uh, I did let his bondsman know you know, um, he's out there living it up. He's dating like five girls at once. Um, whatever that's worth. <clears throat> but he's doing that. So proud of his life. Just doing me being free and something on his Facebook. 600 bucks sitting in his account that he isn't even worried about apparently. But uh, fast money, fast life. Um, and... It's not that hard, really, I guess, to get women to sleep with you whenever you're um, pulling them full of drugs. Uh, don't worry, people. I have made a statement that was signed and everything, sent it to the DA, and he's already with one of the girls. They got in a fight, and he unlawful, not unlawful, but restraint of breath or whatever, which is an aggravated assault in my state. So you guys don't have to worry about running into him pretty soon. Uh, sadly, we can't hang out because I can't get to your house. Sorry. Um, this shit is going slow. I don't have to use a hotspot. Uh, that's why I'm not streaming. Later, I'll move this over to my phone. There's a bunch of other stuff, and I'll just feel in my stuff. Um, hotspot uses up a lot of battery. I got like 43%. And, uh, yeah. There we go. That should speed me up. Or not. Uh, okay, everybody, enjoy your black screen. Thank you, Chase, for making a low impact everything. If anybody wants to send me money for internet, that'd be appreciated so I could at least 
thought of going and apply for some at-home jobs or something. I'll even make a reasonable effort at searching for somebody that can do something where they swing by and pick me up. But uh, it's definitely not an afraid to work or I don't want to work or anything like that. Oh, man. I was actually working at Alcon for Ransad when uh, my car was taken. Um, performance was definitely not great. You actually have to be able to focus and sleep and not be worried about everything crashing around you at the time for stuff like that to even work. But that's what it is. Um, Oh dear, um, since my phone has been turned off and everything, I'm not sure if, okay, yeah, since it's my app. And now we just get to do all this, all right. But uh, we'll give him an actual screenshot of my, what's in my bank and everything so that he can't even say like, oh, go spend $25 for paying to learn what to name your motion so that it'll actually go through the clerk's office. Um, to be honest, that was me trying to be nice. Like, she's full of shit. Um, she didn't call me. I know she didn't call me. Um, it would either came through the phone that I've got right now or it would have went through my Google Voice. They didn't call. Um, and then he wants to be all pissy like that because I'm saying I filed a motion. Like, you're probably going to have the clerk retype it up anyways. I'm pretty sure it's not a requirement for me to actually write the motion for them. Um, if anybody can actually show that to me in, like, the... Um, TRCP, uh, that'd be perfectly acceptable. But let's get, let's make sure we get the actual top of that and everything, and we'll just. Bloop. All right, so uh, you'll be able to see the inside of my account, but you won't be able to see everything else. What's up, Chatter? What'd you hear? Oh, the dog just picked up his head and everything. Um, and right here, we'll insert the insert it so that there's no argument that I do not have 25 bucks. Uh, there we go. This shit's gonna be pretty long too. Uh, Negative one hundred fifty nine dollars and ninety nine or ninety six cents has no assets, money, credit, positive balance, which you can access, pay associated fees or other expenses, and is being scorched due to poverty, and that's what it is. If I can't afford it, I can't get to the law library, and I can't even afford the twenty five dollar bar association bullshit. Can't afford to travel to the courthouse because it's four miles to the clearest bus stop, which makes it like two or three times down where I'm at. Um, we're at one of those ones that it's like the very distance one. There's one that goes further, but it goes like all the way down to Austin or something like that. It's not actually even officially Greyhound. It's like part of the dart. Uh, I don't think it actually goes that far, but it goes really far, like twice a day. Like once down, once back up. Um, can I afford the expensive certified mail? Nope. No money. Um, if I really dig every cushion and everything, I might get some three or four dollars out of everything, but I've been doing that for a year now, so there's probably not much. Um, I had the mailbox box up for more than five days, so there's no way I can send out even regular mail to them. Um, this should be citations. And I can't pay for the Rule 99 ones. Um, hang on. Let's top that down a little bit. Uh, plaintiff has attempted a cert, has requested the defendants be served under. 
Uh, technically, it doesn't actually count even if they do it because it's a it's not actually a citation issued by the clerks and everything, but it's there. Uh, I did go ahead and ask them to do it and everything. It's a pretty big, busy image and everything. Actually, they showed that they have passed that around the courts several times and everything, and that's just basically what you deal with right now And if you're poor. Uh, because we get in here into the legal stuff, um, you can see that basically I decided to swing back at everybody that's decided to rob me of anything this time or this year, and nobody can even be bothered to actually respond. Um, it's shitty, because if you know it, just go ahead and respond, why not? Um, what am I looking for? It should be a... All right, so I'm actually probably just gonna go ahead and pull that up. And of course, it's logged me out over here. We're gonna go ahead and turn off that screen thingy again. I wish I had dual screens. Uh, we'll turn off Mega Man. I'm sure you all are tired of looking at Mega Man down there by now. Um, but it was fun. We'll just turn back on the crying, uh, crying Jace the Mind. Uh, Blue Eye Sculptor. See, it's been so long since I've conversed with people, I can't talk. I'll eventually uh, go through all the stuff that was in that file and stick it all in there at the end to be like, look, they've been opening these emails. They're well aware of it. Here's CRSV, CSV file that shows openings for them, all that kind of stuff. But I want to get the one I sent last night. Oh, dear. It looks like my mail track may have got disabled. No, it's still showing up. Okay. Uh, trying to do everything for any kind of... <laughs> uh, I can see right now where they actually saw at the bondsman. I actually sent it to... People uh, about the... So Mark could know where his money was. Yeah, I'm going to throw his name under the bus, Mark. All right, I'm going to take this image. So this has been opened at least 10 times. And then we'll print off this email so I can show where I've attempted to actually ask them to provide service. And uh, I'm just going to name it 106. And now that I'm no longer in my web browser with all my prawn, uh, we'll turn that back on. It's really not, but <laughs> I use the other web browser for that. Um, not really, but it's, it's, it's bad enough. It's been a year, guys. Okay, quick brag on me. Yeah. All right, so uh, we need service here. Um, here, and then this should go like right here. <laughs> oh, look, Libra Office, I get it. You tried. You tried really hard, but I really do need <laughs> need a better way of getting images into the location I want them. Um, I have a feeling by the time all this is done, 
there is going to be some issues with some people just being like, dude, why can't this guy get some legal service? Why can't somebody just actually go and deliver something to them to get the court stuff going? Why couldn't she just release the car since he's already involved in litigation and she has all his household information and everything? But she just doesn't want to. Um, that's the kind of uh, business that is over there. She got mad when I put it on the BBB and decided to talk about how I was threatening her. Um... Uh, and not wanting, or I was threatening and I was suing all these different companies. It's like, yeah, I'm suing all these different companies. I have to. Like, y'all can't get your shit together to just stop arguing with me. That She's like, we sent a second notice. I'm like, well, send me the copy of the certification and, like, receipt. It can get lost. I understand that. I wouldn't be mad. It would suck. But I finally got the first notice on the 15th after uh, they mailed it off on, like, the 29th or something, they said. Uh, it's a little crap, but that's what they say. Um, and that's as far as I can tell, you can tell, but these days the little address thing doesn't work. Uh, let's see. I argue that you can do it by service per and everything, just like he knows. Uh, Google Incorporated is not me. Uh, so it's not served by me through those companies. Facebook, Instagram, social media, those are not me. It's not served by me. And the actual website we have here in Texas going, this e-file thing is actually ran by the Texas Judicial Branch. And so they are the ones like serving it and everything. Um, as long as the citation has reached the defendant, uh, service of the process will not be invalidated. As long as the whole record shows the petition, citation, and return uh, shows that it has reached them. Um, I'm sure they have a return in their stuff, actually. Um, if it's got minor defects or anything, it's not my problem. I've got Mail Hunter and everything, and I just talk in here like these two services. It's in their best interest to do it the best they do. Uh, there are limitations and everything, but there is no reason that they would try to not make it as best as possible. Sure, missing capitalization. Sure. I just don't want to see a blue line there. All right, and so. Um, Evidence in support of services through eFile Texas. And um, this is probably the one that actually is going to get people. I just discovered, like, apparently your primary petition, even though everything else will say service on it and everything, and it's hard enough to dig through that stuff just because of how they set it up. You can't really tell that uh, it does it, but apparently they don't serve that one document. But I tend to include it on other stuff. <clears throat> Plus the... If you look at the actual part, like including shows that's reached the defendant, um, uh, it's not this one. There's one of these where it actually shows what they want in it, minimum for the Supreme Court rulings. They're pretty strict on it, though. It does have a rule in the Texas Civil Procedure. It needs to actually be issued by them. It needs to say, you were served. It needs to say, and it's lame because if I can't afford any kind of service, you're denying me access to courts. It's just that easy. Um, and that's where we're at right now. They won't just get off their ass and go serve a document. Um, but you'll see these when they go in, like, e-file and serve. Like, this document was served to them. So they have received this document. And then this, uh, that was the first one, right? The first little one like that. So we'll go to the second one. And there's another one, e-file and serve. It's been served. And if you go look up Supreme Court rulings and stuff, even the t Texas Rules of Civil Procedure, if they're just sitting over there waiting for a proper service when they have a full copy of the document, not only can they get default judgment, they can get default judgments based on conscious indifference, which is exactly what this lady's doing. She doesn't care that I want to get a job, that I was willing to pay her back, that she was actually wrong and cannot provide the documents. As far as I'm guessing and can tell, she probably got rid of my car after I sued her because she didn't want to believe I actually had sued her um, because she thought it was just a threat or something, um, which is probably going to cause some serious issues for her. Uh, I will definitely send her a link to this so that she can know all that kind of stuff. 
And plus, I'm going to submit it as evidence. Uh, I have no problem keeping up with my discovery to her as ongoing and knowing that any half ass attorney, because I would ask for this stuff, um, will have it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So we can show that all these documents have been served on her. Uh, some of them include discoveries. And she's basically now, because of that, over in just a state of discovery where she can do whatever she wants and dig through her evidence and just try to s starve me out. And that's what she's doing. Um, also, I will tag the location that this was made at as her business. Uh, I've, offer I've offered all sorts of stuff to just try to get her to settle or something because I just need, can't even afford internet, can't get going, can't do anything. And it took several companies just treating me like shit, firing me for exposure to COVID-19, her not being willing to even just discuss how her documents are wrong, um, all that kind of stuff to finally knock me on my butt. And now there's no way out without external help. And since she is responsible because... They just wanted to argue and just not even call me back. I've called twice. Uh, the videos will be, they're already up, I think. If they're not, they will be. Um, but as I explained to her recently, I've dropped my entire divorce and child support stuff in there, and I'm doing it shamelessly. I'm not going to sit there and say I didn't know that that is going to have the jury go, oh, man, like, he's manipulating us. Yeah, it is. Because what kind of woman will not just let somebody make a payment plan when it's literally all they have? He takes care of his stepmom who's trying to get disability and she's got past due medical appointments. Uh, I was just trying to see my girlfriend. My roommate stole the gas out of the car um, after driving around and stuff and then decides to run off. And I can't even just get anything. Um, motion for default judgment. That has a whole bunch of stuff on it. E-file and serve. Uh, orders and emails for evidence. So she's got copies of all the emails, which include a petition in it, uh, e file and serve. Um, sadly, a lot of these don't actually have much in them. I need to start filling out that description now that I've they've updated the portal where I can see it, so I know what it is myself. And it'll make my life a little easier. Uh, so I swear in a penalty that I've delivered one of these under. Because somewhere in that, it's got a petition in it. And she's got it. It shall not be invalidated, blah, 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 blah. Uh, the only thing that remains is Judge OK. Hang on. Now we go down here, and we'll be... Uh, <sighs> eh, swears under whatever. Yeah, I'm planning. Uh, the plaintiff uh, swears under penalty of perjury because I am kind of picky. Since the original petition isn't delivered and I know it now, I can't actually say that without feeling um weird. I, I know there's other documents I filed in there where I included it as an attachment and stuff and uh, everything, but it's just I can't. Um, Hers actually might not. One of my other ones, it's like snuck in there on some of the other stuff. But I'm going to remember from now on to actually include the original petition on whatever I file seconds as like some kind of attachment with just the filing orders or whatever and like file one of these with it. Um, uh, penalty of perjury. Uh... The Judicial Branch of Texas itself has served the above envelopes defendants. And here's where we start kind of getting some problems where this uh, system was broken and not very well considered. Um, because this is probably better than service by publication and everything, especially if I go ahead and do my own side of due diligence. But uh, 
under Texas. Procedures. Discovery does not begin until the respondents. Let's say respondents on this one because sometimes they aren't just dependents. Uh, I've been given a copy of the petition by service. And the courts have delivered these. as well as the plaintiff. This creates a situation. I promise I'm not that bad. I'm just trying to talk at the same time and talking is kind of a new skill for me again. Um, in law is not the easiest skill. I suck at this. It creates a situation where the respondents unfair advantage are uh, they need to drop some of the pomp in courts in my opinion um, because yeah, it's nice, and yeah, there is a procedure and everything, but why isn't that procedure made clear? Why is it so convoluted? If this is a rule that I can use, why is it not like cross-referenced? Why do I go to school and get bitched at for not knowing the difference between like six different types of plagiarism, which are the same, and I'm supposed to tell something from like paraphrasing plagiarism that's been covered or like hidden, what is it? It's the camouflaged plagiarism and the paraphrase all at once, I'm supposed to tell the difference in that and somebody that's actually just learned it and they've been primed to use the exact same words that the person used because they went and read all their books or something. It, that's not, how am I supposed to know that? But I'm supposed to somehow know that there's a procedure and a specific type of motion that has to go with this without any kind of cross-reference or know where there's an actual example of it. Uh, and like caselaw.com and stuff, they're they're proud of it. They're like, oh, look, here we got all the stuff updated. Well, why isn't there just a click for an example of what one of those motions look like? If there's a proper form for it, there should be one there. And that's all it would take. It would take any one of them, and they aren't that complex to make. Websites develop them way too slow for a government stuff. They should be able to put 5,000 people on it and have it done in a day. Everybody do one example of every kind of motion. Um... Discovery. This damages my ability to have trial, let alone appeal. Uh, plaintiff is in catastrophe. He's going to be mad because I'm going to tell him, like, flat out, he's got to give me a default judgment. Like, it's not my fault they're just sitting there not doing shit on it. And they're going to be like, but you didn't attach orders to it. Fuck you. I don't care. Um, Charge will be all pissed off whenever I start trying to challenge him to trial by combat or something. By the way, one of the worst things anybody ever taught me. I'm going to get my ass kicked someday. It's a fact. And, um, you know what? Fair enough, because I challenged them to trial by combat. But, <laughs> Texas still allows it. Penal code 22.01 and 22.06. If you guys hear me smoking, I'm smoking regular stuff. Um, I got a phone call. It's probably going to be some kind of bill. Hello? Hi, can I speak to Joshua Knight? This is him. Hi, this is Christine with Speedy Cash. How are you? I still don't have a job or money. Like, I'm in catastrophic yeah, financial collapse. Are. Like, I don't have anything over here. I don't even have a car. I am fighting in the legal system to even get my car back right now. Okay, well, thank you very much. You thank have a you. Good day. Okay, that was actually me. 
Uh, don't worry, I got a good loan. Much better than like a payday loan. They actually gave me like a loan loan, which got me through like three months because I'm so used to not spending anything over the past year. But it's still, that's, that's the last time I really had any kind of influx of cash. Um, they're going to be mad because I just keep blocking their phone numbers. Uh, some lady had this phone before me. I'm thinking she had some identity theft. Happens. Um, but I'm getting tired of AT&T and people trying to do whatever for her. I'm just like, stop calling. Okay. And if I would have done this in a justice course, apparently I would have been allowed a hearing within 21 days. But they just ignored this shit, even though like my losses were already over really what a justice court could do. Um, and so now, of course, I still have losses. And she'll probably try to say they're mine. And I guarantee you she's gotten rid of the car by now. Uh, before I get rid of this, I might actually call her. I might call her right now while we're typing, just to go ahead and add one in. Why not? Enjoy, people. Um, I, as you can probably see up here, we'll scroll back up so we can see it. Uh, it's going to be a little small probably for you, but I just started tagging the actual Ulysses police on this stuff, you know, and he's like, I asked, I was like, can you please just go tell me where my car is? If it's even there, if my stuff is there, because how do I even put what I've lost on there without that kind of stuff on there? Uh, so... Quality assurance or training purposes. Like mine's not recording. Mm. Record, sir. Shane is speaking. I'm going help you. Hi, I'm still trying to find out uh, what happened to my car. The 2007 Kia Sportage, last four, the VIN 1180. Well, it was towed, and um, y'all had, I never got a second notice, and I can't get a proof of a second notice from y'all, and uh, I started litigation and everything, and y'all can't respond to the litigation for some reason, and then I don't even know if you still have the car or the property in it, and I've asked for months now how much it is to come get it on a certain day, and y'all never give me an answer, or if I could come get my property, and you never give me an answer, and... So, like, I need to know everything that happened to it, like, from the start, so I even know what to put on my lawsuit. Mm, it's still here. It's still okay. A lot. Okay, and did y'all get the window put up on it? Uh, that, I don't, I don't know. I have any information. I mean, okay. How much is it to get it out today? That? Uh, $1,893.05. Okay, uh, do you have any proof of a second notice? shows that it's been sent out so as far as proof i'm not sure what you're wanting well i didn't get a second notice whatsoever and i've already been like asking for prices and this is the first time like if i'm asking for a price to come get it and you can't respond i'm pretty sure you can't keep charging after that because i can't just come up there but uh it's good to know that it's still there well if you didn't get it nine times out of ten it might not have been just us that hold on for one second Lo loading it also comes equipped with all the latest cutting edge technology are you there, sir? Yes, and like I understand that stuff can get lost okay. in the mail, which is why I've been asking for since January 29th, actually, if you have okay, any sir, proof I of a second notice. With that. You would have to speak with the owner. All I can do is just pull your information up and give you, you know, the information you're asking. As far as like all that other yeah. stuff, I have nothing to do with. Uh, I've repeatedly asked for, to speak to her, and she won't speak to me. Uh, she... The only time she spoke to me was when she yelled at me and made up a bunch of stuff about me threatening to sue her when I'd already sued her on the B Better Business Bureau, um, which was nothing really but an admission that she had actually received the emails and everything. But I appreciate you actually letting me know it's there because nobody has so far. Um, thank you very much. Uh huh. You're welcome. All right. Thank you. All right. So that's the first time I've actually got an answer. So now we actually least have a price uh their system shows they sent me a second notice 
Um, if she actually has a second notice, we could have saved months of... Hang on, let me let the dog out. Saved. Saved months of arguing, even if she would have just told me they had a second notice. Um, we could have got the price down if they wouldn't have put the 25th on there. Um, there's a law uh, for abandoned vehicle notice. Or towing, which it has to be there for 24 hours, and they're actually supposed to come by and do something like mark the tires with a uh, spray paint or whatever to see if it's been moved, um, to let you know it's actually been abandoned. The person hasn't come back and tried to move it, and needs to come back again uh, to give you a fair chance. And they're like, we talked to DFW Airport Police and everything. I called them all. I called the ULIS Police and everything. They're like, no, we're not showing a tow. And so. I couldn't find it for weeks, and they, we finally got that on July or January 15th, and it's first notice marked that way by the post office and everything, so you would expect with COVID-19 and all the stuff like that that they would actually at least talk to me because it said it was towed on the 25th at like 2 a.m., and I left it on December 25th at 9-ish p.m. I, I actually have the lift records to prove it and everything with GPS and all that stuff. So obviously it was not towed on the 25th. I think they towed it for abandoned vehicle enforcement and they put a different date on it so that they could actually slide it through. Um, and then when I tried to call them, hey, this date's wrong. And they're like, no, no, no. And like the her first email was like, we, we towed it on the 26th. And I was like, so your date was wrong. Like this person was sitting there arguing with me. And they're like, we sent a first notice. We sent a second. I'm like, okay send me a copy of the receipt for the second notice because just because it says it in there doesn't mean you have any evidence of it you don't have a signature on it anything like that um and i don't think it's going to look very well in a court that that's the first time they told me it's one thousand eight hundred dollars now um they're cranking up the price now that litigation has started and i've been sitting and asking for the price for a long time i don't think so and i gotta talk to the owner who won't talk to me so that's that's fun um After being after being uh, delayed by the defendants waiting a um, proper service, But uh, she knows I filed an emergency injunction, and the court knows that uh, I filed for an emergency injunction, all that kind of stuff. And uh, I guarantee you that window is still down. Uh, they probably haven't even got a piece of plastic over it halfway because I was going to come right back. My roommate had my car, wasn't returning it. And so that kind of, you know, but <clears throat> uh, let's see. Uh, we're going to toss some of these other Supreme Court rulings in here. Um, so, be too busy or just delaying procedures. And that's, she's denying me access to courts is basically what she's doing. She knows I don't have any money. She knows I am trying to fight for my kid, all that kind of stuff. And this is what she's choosing to do. Um, I never at any point have even just said I should get it free or that kind of stuff. I definitely sued her for the cost of the car or everything. She can't tell me anything about it. Why wouldn't I? As far as I know, she got rid of it during the proceedings. And as a result, uh, I would have all those losses. And she can't tell me shit. And so... Uh, Just delaying proceedings in an effort to start planning it out. Start the plaintiff out. Uh, she should be answering her discoveries. I haven't got any answers on those, and that's got to mess them up because they're like, well, we haven't been served yet. Um, so we'll come down a little bit right here, and we'll put that in. Really what she's doing, uh, there should be just a flat law against it. 
Uh, if you are aware of the citation, if you're aware of it, and you're just trying to dodge out, like, uh, the below rulings from the Aunt Mary's history of default judgments. They support that this uh, behavior is conscious indifference. A judge is probably just going to be like, I just wanted a fucking order. I didn't want a book. But this uh, preps me up in case I need to actually shoot it off to the uh, Supreme Court or anything. Um, they have a consistent pattern with neglect or indifference. Uh, some of these, I haven't really looked them up, looked them up, so they may not be, not be great. Uh, that is one of the reasons they have to, whenever it's brought up, go in and actually check their citation because you're just making a, yeah, uh, ignoring patterns of deadlines and everything. Like, I could probably just go ahead and, you know what, we're going to do it this way. We will actually remove this. Um, the behavior is consistent. Those found in rulings from St. Mary's history of default judgments that support oops, that this behavior is Conscious indifference, and whenever it's conscious indifference, they actually, I'm a horrible speller. Whenever it actually is conscious indifference, it's almost impossible to appeal the default judgment because they've decided that not only did you accidentally, you didn't accidentally get it, you didn't miss it, you didn't do anything like that, you just decided you did not give up about it, and as a result, they make it pretty much unappealable unless you can actually come up with something to show like, oh, it really was misplaced, it wasn't my fault. But as you can see, we got about three of these here. Um, they're too busy to answer. Uh, this is a pattern of neglect and delay, delay patterns ignoring deadlines and warnings. Um, they don't answer, uh, even though I've talked to them. Uh, they've been in contact with plaintiff's counsel. I should have gave her the whole citation right there of the law just so I had it on the recording. Inconsistencies, possible falsehoods, uh, not competent proof that they failed to file one, um, failed to provide evidence that anyone actually lost the petition. Uh, trial is free to find it if they didn't find an answer because physical and mental dis inability to deal with the lawsuit. Um, I found this hilarious and actually need to really go look up the opinion on this. We'll do it right now because the way I read this is a person who was alleged of alleged of it could not actually be found not to be. They didn't actually end up saying at all that this person was not mentally ill. Um, I came to default judgment and finality to reviews. Um, I want the actual like opinion. Uh, this is probably one of the ones I've actually looked at, but there is, I don't see it. I am just finding a bunch of opinions on the statue that was knocked over, but basically the way this is, he's alleged a physical and mental ability, inability. They didn't even end up taking the time to prove that he was. And so if you don't answer because you think you're going to get another one, like it's basically too not get default judgment saying that you're worse than that guy mentally and physically. <laughs> I guess I'm laughing at you. My dog's over there trying to figure out where to lay his head because he wants to look out the window with the side tables in his way. Um, but that's, that's basically all these are is things about waiting on proper service about how there are other types of service about how anybody can, that you've given it to can actually respond to it, um, conscious indifference, and that 
any person who had received it I'm gonna guess he actually hasn't seen this stuff. Um, I'm gonna guess it's sitting with like his clerks and stuff where like that's not service. And she, you heard her, that's like the coordinator. And she didn't even realize that there actually, yeah, I assume was a 106 uh, 2B. And so she's probably set on some of this stuff I've sent in uh, where I've tried to actually get the stuff to be supported and put in a serve date and everything. And uh, um, I've asked for default judgments on this. Trial must have they been served to copy of the petition with the defendant's file and answer. Um, I'm saying that any kind of combined efforts actually work to um, com uh, compromise the efforts of the legislator and the judicial branch to put those two things together and to create a speedy system for all parties. And uh, while the system still has laws and I'm sorry I'm not an attorney and I'm really too stressed from this kind of stuff even to have it my normal snappy snap memory it's been it's been doing okay and I remember this stuff exists but there's a lot of rules so I gotta look it up but um what is that? That is going to be, does it actually say technology? All right. Um, okay. There's like 800 rules. <laughs> I'm not going to use this specific rule because he probably knows it. But I would be entitled Uh, motion for waiver of service. And slash or uh, There's an official citation. I don't want to start doing TRCP on that. Um, or pay for the uh, bar associations. And um, I get it. That's that's actually a pretty fair price for them to give you a little 30-minute chit-chat and stuff. Um, this is probably getting pretty long. I might cut it off here to just give myself a few minutes because I can get stressed out and stuff just thinking about how stuck I am. And the dog is over there laying down. And But... Um, under Texas Rules of Civil Procedures... Uh, the fact that the courts themselves have allowed me to actually serve upon this and other parties motions for discovery 
and I'll go put one more in or something to make sure. Uh, I'll actually have to go and try to find the evidence or find out exactly why in there it was shot back uh, because I know some of them came back, but she has them. Uh, that uh, they can be punished by being blocked certain types of discovery and everything. But the uh, the trial and evidence has been compromised by not requiring an answer. And I'm actually pissed off about her enough that I don't even care if I lose these. I'm affidavit of agency, can't afford anything, um, going to lose the house and everything. I'll just keep suing her and tying her up in court. I'll just go up there and figure out some way to make sure I can serve her every day and serve her every day if I have to. I will do malicious lawsuits until I get my money back out of her. Um, and Alright. Um, so I'm going to say that like, since obviously the only reason they are stalling because they can just call their attorney, which she refuses to let me actually talk to. Um, we'll see it as I try to get all the emails and stuff in here, but, um, the, uh, only thing she's doing is preventing me from access to the courts and trying to drive the price up on the car that I can not afford to get out after refusing to give me a price to get it out when evidence of a second notice was denied. And that's the big one to me. Like, if you can't actually produce that and I haven't got it, like, I get it. I do. I understand that things can happen. It can get lost in the mail, all that kind of stuff. But it is the law. And if I ask for it and you don't have a receipt showing it or anything, like, you can't charge me after that. Um, and that's, that's just what it is. And she's not going to be happy about that at all, I'm sure. But she'll probably show up with one and be like, I had it the whole time. And I'm sure a jury, even after seeing this, is going to understand that how much bullshit that is for her to try that kind of shit. Because it would just be a load of crap. I'm, I'm over here not even able to get groceries. I luckily did find somebody that was able to go get groceries for me. But, I mean, how am I even supposed to eat or anything? And I'm over here in a custody battle with my kid. All that kind of stuff. And... Uh, I can't win whenever you're like, well, so, uh, yes, judge, I can't actually afford to, um, pay any bills or anything because I can't work because I can't get my car out because somebody can't answer basic questions about her own business. It's, it's a load of shit. Uh, that's all it is. Plain and simple. And that stuff now, since I've said that, and this is important and I'm sure even her 
attorney since I've filed discovery is going to be like all oh, emails, documents and stuff. And I hope they do. And even if they don't, I will input this video into discovery. So, um, jurors, I'm sorry. You're going to have to deal with this kind of shit because it is a load of shit. That is all it is. Like all she had to do was fucking talk to me and work out a payment plan. And even if they could produce the second notice, we could have figured it out. We could have been adults. We could have figured it out. I know she probably thinks I'm going to screw her over or something, but I could have brought her anything she asked for, like bank statements, all that kind of stuff. I can show her my house. Um, I was, If we don't get this sorted out soon enough, I'm going to lose my house. So I could put it up for collateral because I'm going to lose it anyways. Um, but that is not the kind of things that she was even willing to discuss whatsoever. She was literally just busy just arguing that a second notice has been given that nobody can provide me a copy of. And worrying about how I was threatening her. And... Yeah, I'm not going to be super nice whenever I have your stupid fucking clerk person or receptionist or whatever on your stupid email telling me stuff like, well, we sent it. And I'm like, cool, do you got a copy? Well, we sent it. Do you have a copy of it? Do you have any proof? Like, and this is definitely wrong. And she was arguing, no, we picked it up on the 25th. I'm like, no, you definitely did not pick it up on the 25th. And just the fact that the document says that is probably going to cause some problems in a jury trial. And... I think you'll all agree, if they can't even answer what the deal with is on that, there is a significant problem. And people are going to be mad that I'm even addressing the jury. But I know if this goes to jury trial, that I will play this video, so I might as well address you. Um, by the way, I just uh, Friday was going to be my first hearing ever uh, that I would get to attend on the stuff with my daughter. Um, all that stuff may come up a little more since it's relevant now, but... I just, uh, wife went in there, gave half information. I kind of got screwed out of it and everything. And I finally got a hearing, but the judges messed up so bad and everything. And plus all that. But I have not seen her since she was two in 2011, even though I have access to the health, education, and welfare. I finally got my first uh, welfare check on the third ever. And they presented false paperwork showing that they had full custody and everything, but there's no evidence of them ever having a hearing since they never called me in. Um, and so just with that and the fact that I have like nine, ten, whatever certified letters they never answered and all sorts of stuff on the ex-wife, I would have a decent chance of getting her right now and or at least getting where I could see her. I hate the idea of trying to um, strip her away when she doesn't even know me, but, um, yeah, I can't even wage that battle that I've been doing for 10 years nonstop because the court systems at some point just don't care about you. If you can't afford an attorney, they say, fuck you. Uh, just like the lady at Ulysses B&B &B record and so much for any kind of monetization on this, but that's not what this is for. It's just to let people know that it's a load of shit and they shouldn't shop there or, even give them money. Um, they tow your car, just hit them with a lawsuit until they're in, in the ground and can't tow your car anymore. And like, that's it. If you can't be a common, decent person, you shouldn't be allowed to participate in society, let alone business. Um, have a good one.